Hey guys, Kills of Reels here, and we're back with some more Sons of the Forest. I'm going to do a little tutorial in this one. I'm going to show you how to build an easy and quick auto log sorting system using the rope gun and Calvin. You can easily pump out about 60 logs with this in like a matter of minutes, and you haven't got to mess around by running back and forth with it or anything like that. Excuse the bodies on the floor, I got attacked, uh, as per usual when you first log into the game. So the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need some wood, you're going to need some sticks, you're going to need Calvin, I don't know where he's gone, and you're going to need the uh, the rope gun. So I'm going to grab some wood because I haven't brought any with me, uh, and then I'm going to start showing you how to build this. Alright, so I've got my wood. First thing you're going to do is you need to build some sort of platform that you can attach the rope gun to. So I'm going to put my uh, end of it up in those trees there just to make it easy for me to log. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place one there. It's the usual kind of thing. Place one there. I'm going to line that up. It's just a basic frame really, but you kind of need to fill it. Lob that in there. Nice. We'll grab some more. Uh, and then we can just fill it up with like the defensive wall section. Any way will do. You can lay them on flat on the floor if you want. You can have it kind of proper lined up or you can just do it this way. You, this is important. If you don't do this, the logs are just going to fly straight through when you send them down and they'll end up... Well, for me, they'll end up in the water. We don't want that to happen. Okay. Well, that's a quick uh, frame thrown down. It'll do. It's nothing too serious. It's nothing fancy. You can make it look a lot better yourself if you want. So now what we need is we need the log sorting system. We need this part. All right, so I've built 10 of those things there. They're in front of the uh, the frame. They have to be in front of the frame, and they have to be where the logs will come in. So first thing you want to do, get your little gun out, your little rope gun. Just line it up to the center just so it hits the actual thing. And then go find yourself a tree in the woods. Normally, you can build yourself something. That's absolutely fine. But when you're cutting down trees, you'll probably smash it up. So for me, I find it's easier just to find myself a nice tree. And go from there. I feel like this tree is probably going to be good. I might have to go a bit higher, but not too high. So we want it about... We'll go about there. That's just enough, I think, to clear it over the wall and to get the wood that's fully travelling down there. So, now we're up here. Next thing we want to do is we want to build some logs up here. Those uh, log storage systems. We want to build it up here, maybe get about four up here or something like that. Okay. So now I've built five. Basically, the more you build, the better it is because otherwise Calvin, Calvin's going to be, um, he's going to be filling these up. So you get Calvin to follow you. Once he's following you, just get your axe out and start him off because we don't want him to cut trees down. Otherwise, he'll cut down the tree that we actually want to use. So I'm going to cut down a couple of trees just to start him off. It's like this. Right, that should do it. I've cut down about three trees. It's just to get him started. We know it. A bit weird. We know how long it takes for old Calvin to cut down some trees, right? So what we want to tell him to do, we want him to tell him to get logs and bill holders. So what he's gonna do now is old Calvin is gonna grab the logs and he's gonna fill these holders up. Whilst he's doing that, we'll keep cutting down trees. This saves us from having to go around. And collecting the logs ourselves plus it saves us for waiting for him to cut the trees down himself because we know how bloody long he takes right there we go just keep cutting down trees i've only done this temporary Whoa. temporary it's in a place where obviously you could do it in a denser forest i'm just doing this as a just to show you kind of cut down this tree all right that should do it we have got a lot of wood down here now there is a lot of wood here now, Calvin's going to take his time and fill these up. And it's important that you don't let him fill these up. Because once he's filled these up, he'll be walking down to your base to try and fill them up. So whilst he's doing that, all you've got to do is literally just gather the wood, look up at the zip line, and send them on their way. It's as simple as that. Now, this works uphill as well, apparently, which is weird. So when the logs go down to the end, they hit the wood, they fall off, and they get sucked into the auto storage system at the bottom. All right, so Calvin does that. You do this. He's doing all the work. All you've got to do is just literally pick up the wood and send it down the way. And then when it gets to this stage where he's almost out of wood, just cut down some more trees. It's so much quicker to doing it this way than having him get the wood one at a time. There we go. I feel like we've got enough wood now. 
I feel like we've sent enough back to the base. Calvin's still collecting wood for us. He's around here somewhere. And it's literally taken me, what, a couple of minutes to uh, get this sorted. Best thing about this is you can just ride it back into the base. Just like this. Just ride it all the way back in again. Boom. Done. And it's sorted. You don't have to sort it, which means you can log out and not lose your wood. You don't have to put it anywhere. You don't have to sort it out. And that is the end result. We have an auto wood sorting rope gun system using Calvin. Just remember that if you've got him up there filling up those um, log holders, once they're full, he will start trying to fill these up. And if he runs out of wood, he will cut down your tree. Now, to stop him from doing that, you can just build another one of these up there or maybe a bit higher. I'd probably go a bit higher with a platform. It's easier for you to get on and stand on. So, yeah, nice system there. And it works perfect. And it doesn't take long. I mean, I built that out of it. And it didn't take me long to do at all once I got this set up. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, hopefully you can put it to action in your games. Thanks for coming, guys. Bye.